Hey everyone, so in this video, I'm just going to go over Dr. Stevens a bit, specifically with his mods as well as his weapon, just because I know a lot of you ended up pulling him from Hellgate or from the Hell Wheel, and I know a lot of people are a little confused as to how best to mod him as well as utilize him in battle. Also, a big shout out to Captain Walker Slayer today. I heard it's your birthday, so happy birthday, and I hope you have a good one. So now jumping to the video, Dr. Stevens is still one of the best characters in the game. And the reason is his active skill in combination with his rush can make any attack team a faster attack team because of the AP gains. Dr. Stevens' biggest threat in some cases is Angel because of her exhaust ability as well as her day's leadership ability. By being able to gain 100% AP on the first turn, by the activation of his active skill and then rushing him and giving 60% AP to two other tunes, with the right combination, you can get tunes to rush on the first turn or get a couple tunes to naturally rush on the second turn. This gives you a huge advantage. Also, by having vitality, he's able to regain HP every turn. Now, regarding Dr. Stevens' mod set, this mod set I decided on because I use my Dr. Stevens when fighting Mercer as well as Jackie leads, meaning Mercers can stun my team while Jackie can confuse my team. So I have two resist mods that mod against each of those. I have an HP mod because by increasing his HP, it means if there is an exhaust tune on defense, I might be able to survive it by having enough HP on my tune instead of having a maim or exhaust resist mod. I have defense versus tough because of how many tough tunes there are on both offensive and defensive teams, as well as a reflect damage mod. So there are a couple reasons why I use a reflect damage mod on Dr. Stevens. The first one is I run him on attack and on defense, so he's going to be targeted a lot. Secondly, because he's a taunting tune and can taunt up to three enemies on the first turn, if his rush goes off, it means three tunes are forced to attack him. By having a defensive mod set, he reflects less damage back, but I might be able to break some guardian shields if a tune attacks, gets a critical hit, applies a guardian shield, and then the tunes with the guardian shields attack, and the damage is reflected back. Now, one of the more tricky parts with Dr. Stevens is definitely his weapon. I made him a tanky weapon because I only plan on using him really for that first turn. Because my goal is to kill the other team fast and not prolong the match, I want to tank him out, especially with extra HP. This HP is especially valuable if he does get exhausted because exhaust damage is maim damage and does direct damage to the tune's HP. So by having higher HP, it means he can withstand more maim damage. So in war, for example, he's able to withstand Leopo's exhaust. Angel's exhaust is a little different because it's 500 instead of 300. But if Dr. Stevens attacks on the first turn and isn't attacked by another tune, he has enough HP in this setup so that when he does use his active skill on the second turn, he does not die from using it because he's not gaining the full 100% AP. Now I know a lot of people have done AP when taking damage or AP on attack for Dr. Stevens, but I don't find this as useful only because even though he's taunting tunes into him, so AP when being attacked would help him with gaining more AP, he is still unable to rush on the second turn because he's often command rushed on the first turn. And when you command a tune, it means you get an additional attack that turn but the next turn, you lose your attack. There is of course also the fear of taunting enemies into Dr. Stevens and Dr. Stevens either dying, becoming stunned, impaired, taunted, confused, and so on. Now, because Dr. Stevens is such an important part of my attack team, I am going to end up 5-starring his weapon. I'm just waiting on tokens. So there's actually a couple different crafts that I'm looking at for him. And I think I'm going to go with a healing craft over a reduced damage craft. Right now I'm looking at fast healing. So up to two teammates regain 10% HP per turn for each fast teammate on the team. This would be good both offensively 
as well as defensively, in my opinion. It would be really useful against Mateo, who has a 15% infection, because this 10% could add up very quickly, as well as save many tunes by just healing every single turn, depending on how many yellow tunes I'm running. Theoretically, if I knew there was a Mateo on a defensive team, I could switch up my usual green or blue command for a yellow command, and that way I would heal 20% HP per turn up to two teammates instead of just 10%, and the 20% would be greater than the 15% threshold of Mateo's infection. And, still speaking theoretically, by running a yellow command, if I had the same craft on that tune, then I would have better coverage for healing over infection. Another craft that I've been considering is Under Pressure. So when attacked while slowed, dazed, or confused, reflect 250% of the damage. Now, if I were to run this on Dr. Stevens, I think it would be very effective because I would be taunting tunes into him. We also have a case where some players still use Priya in order to daze Dr. Stevens so that he can't use his active skill along with now Jackie leads which provide confuse to begin with. Now something that I'm curious of, and if someone's able to test this that would be amazing, but what happens if Dr. Stevens for example has under pressure and goes up against a Jackie team and your own tune ends up attacking a confused Dr. Stevens? Will your tune receive a reflected damage? Or will it act like Bide, where even if a Bide tune takes friendly fire, it will release its Bide upon the enemy and not your own team. So, as some of you know, I ended up pulling a second Dr. Stevens, and how I plan to mod him, and I'm just going to mod over top of my one that's maxed out, I would mod him as if I was facing Angel teams, because I figure when you have multiple Dr. Stevens, you can mod them for different situations. In this case, Angel is a tune that a lot of people still use as a leader, and obviously Dr. Stevens modded with Stun Resist and Confuse Resist is a lot less effective against an Angel team. So instead, I switch to an HP set. I also add Graze because if my tune does become exhausted or maimed at all, I will want to reduce the amount of damage taken. I can do Defense versus Tough or Strong, have a daze resist, as well as a maim or an exhaust resist. This way, I'm less likely to be impacted by an angel. The daze resist will mean I can resist her leadership skill potentially. The maim or the exhaust resist means I can resist that exhaust damage that I could take if Dr. Stevens allows angel's active skill to go off. The main points I want to make for the people who have multiple Dr. Stevens is mod them differently because there are so many different types of teams out there, and you could have the same attack team, but just have a different version of Dr. Stevens. By having these simple mod variations, you basically create a whole new tune. So now just to go through some film, this is a Mercer vs. Mercer team. I used Dr. Stevens' active skill on the first turn, but could not command him. Now, I used Princess's active skill first so that she would gain the 35% AP, as well as normalize the shield. I then used Dr. Stevens because I could predict where the AP would go. Um, I will link my Dr. Stevens video at the end of this video and in, in the description box to explain how his AP gains actually work and where they go because it is very predictable. And when things are predictable, it means you can leverage them to your own advantage. So as you'll see, even if Dr. Stevens can't rush on the first turn, even by using his active, I'm able to leverage my team and manipulate their APs in order to ensure the correct tunes get Dr. Stevens' AP. I try to finish my matches quickly, so having Dr. Stevens with an AP weapon just isn't as advantageous, especially because he has a weapon where when he's attacked, he gives AP to other tunes anyway. As a 6-star tune, even with veteran rings, he's a weaker tune in general, in order to compensate for that, I need to tank out his weapon. But I'm not saying that using AP on his weapon is a bad idea, it's just a different one. And based on how I use my Dr. Stevens, this is enough. Now, I'm only showing attacks versus Mercer teams because they're the ones that were coming up for me. Um, if I were to show an attack versus an Angel team, I would need to have a different mod set on my Dr. Stevens in order to be effective. 
thank you everyone for watching and listening to my video. I hope this helped you for anyone who ended up getting multiple Dr. Stevens in the Hellgate.